From random insects to a pile of turd, stay tuned to number one to find out the strangest monuments ever created. Number 10. Bull Weevil Monument So let's kick things off with a very odd monument that you'll find in Enterprise, Alabama. These good people have the idea to make a statue in their town. Nothing wrong with that, right? Lots of towns do it. But if you head to Enterprise and see what they made, you might be a little confused. For this monument isn't one of a great leader of their town or a great figure of history. Oh no, this is something much different. This is a statue of a woman holding a bull weevil over her head. Random? A little bit. But apparently, this actually has some significance to the town. Allow me to explain. In the year 1919, when the statue was born, Enterprise Alabama was comprised mostly of farmers, and one of the things they had to deal with a lot was bull weevils. In fact, they dealt with them so much that they had to completely change their agricultural ways and started planting and growing peanuts. Turns out, this was a good thing, as it brought a lot of wealth to the town. So they're honoring the bull weevils for helping them change their ways, including naming them in a statement on the statue. In profound appreciation of the bull weevil and what it has done as the herald of prosperity, this monument is erected by the citizens of Enterprise. Number 9. Carhenge When you think about legendary monuments that are across the world, you no doubt eventually come to the one and only Stonehenge. This monument is a wonder in and of itself, and you can't help but to wonder how it got made. But as the United States often does, they like to make their own versions of things. And so, they decided to make their own monument called Carhenge. No, this is not a joke. It was built in the 1980s by a man who wanted to honor his father, who owned land in Alliance, Nebraska. Every car you see here is pretty much from the 1950s and 1960s, so in a way, it's a tribute to classic cars. But what is easily the most impressive thing about Carhenge is the logistics of it. For it's not called Carhenge because it resembles Stonehenge in some ways. It's called that because the creator went to extreme lengths to make sure that every single car used in the monument was perfectly placed to match Stonehenge. Seriously, it's a near perfect replica. The only real difference is one has stones and one uses cars. The monument is still out there in Nebraska, so don't be afraid to go and see it. Number 8. Floralis Generica If you want to see a more natural monument, then you may want to head down to Buenos Aires, Argentina. From there, you will see a massive monument of a flower that is both very intricate and a bit strange when you think about it. But before we talk about this monument, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by clicking on the buttons below. Don't forget to click that little notification bell too so you can stay up to date on all of our new videos. First and foremost, it was the people of Buenos Aires that designed this flower monument and then paid for it. And then it was awarded to them as a gift by the city. So that makes you wonder, what other options were there for a monument in the city? But that's still not the strange part technically. For what's weird is that the flower monument actually opens and closes every single day. At its peak, it's 170 feet tall and outstretched, it's 105 feet wide. That's a really big flower. Not to mention heavy, it's 18 tons, which is interesting since part of it is made of aluminum. Either way though, this is one monument that will catch your eye and likely make you scratch your head. Number seven, Enema Monument. No, I'm not joking about this monument either. This is indeed a statue built in honor of the medical practice known as an enema. If you don't know what that is, look it up on your own. I refuse to describe it to you here. Anyway, you can find this uh, unique monument in Russia, specifically Zeleznovatsk, in front of the Mashuk Akva Term Spa. And if you're thinking and hoping that this is a very basic and simple statue, then I'm sorry, it, it's not. For in fact, this monument is made of bronze and weighs 800 pounds, as well as being over five feet tall. So that begs the question, why does this thing exist? Well, the key here is the location, which I noted is in front of a spa, a spa that just so happens to use enemas as a treatment for various health conditions that patients might come in with. 
In fact, they actually have banners that say things like, let's beat constipation and sloppiness with enemas. But of course it does. Ironically still is the fact that this monument is considered a true work of art by those who have seen it. And the artist who designed it made it out of the desire for irony and comedy. Well, it is funny, that's for sure. Number six, the giant turd. Oh, you thought we were done with gross monuments that have been made. Nope. Granted though, the one I'm about to tell you about actually isn't around anymore, and likely for very good reasons. In Ponta Grossa, Brazil, there was a monument made on top of a tower. Now, the original intent of it was for it to resemble something straight out of nature, mainly to look like a pine cone or a piece of rock from the region. But to everyone who looked at the monument, it just looked like a big turd. And that's exactly what people started to call it, not just in Ponta Grossa, but all over Brazil. In fact, pretty much all of Brazil was making fun of the monument at the time, especially because the name Ponta Grossa means big tip in Portuguese. I'm sure you can find the irony in all of this. For the people of the city, this monument was a bit of a blight on them and the city. So they decided to do the most humane thing they could. They went and set the monument on fire. It worked, and now it's not there anymore. Number five, Steve Jobs Monument. Much like the last entry, this particular monument has a bit of a weird history and not in the way you'd expect. You see, the legendary Steve Jobs was an inspiration to many in the tech world. He personally helped bring the computer age to fruition, as well as made things like Pixar, the computer mouse, certain music software, and the iPhone itself popular, among many other things, of course. But as life does remind us, not everything can last forever, and Steve Jobs unfortunately passed away from cancer in 2011. And not long after that, a memorial to him went up in St. Petersburg's National Research University of Information Technology, Mechanics, and Optics. What's so strange about that? Well, that it's in Russia. You'd expect a monument like that to go up in America, where Jobs' fame was the biggest, but that wasn't the case here. It was in Russia, and that was a bit strange, for the monument wasn't of Steve Jobs himself, but rather an interactive replica of an iPhone that you could see pictures of Jobs with and get glimpses into his life. Just as strange, though, is that the monument was taken down a year later for political reasons. Although these were refuted, the monument was never put back up. Number four, Georgia Guidestones. Let's head to Georgia, the state, not the country, and head up a hill into its northeastern corner where there are five stones of mysterious origin and intent. These are the Georgia Guidestones, and the purpose of them, who made them, and why they were put in this particular spot has baffled scientists since their finding in 1980. The stones are 16 feet tall, weigh 20 tons, and all of them are made of granite. But that's just the beginning of the strangeness of them. For on these granite stones are writings in eight different languages, including text written in Egyptian hieroglyphic, Hindi, Arabic, and Swahili. What do they say? Well, they're instructions on how to rebuild the world. Let these be guide stones to an age of reason so you could interpret it as a moral rebirth instead of a physical one. Yeah, that's strange. And the fact that we still don't know why they were exactly put on this hillside or in all of these languages is just as strange. Number three, the Headington Shark. I'm just as surprised as you. I mean, who would make a monument of a shark? Well, apparently the people of Britain. Oh, but that's not the strange part per se. For while having a shark appear to be plummeting into your roof is strange, but making it look like a remembrance of the devastation of the bombing of Nagasaki in 1945 is, well, yeah, it's very strange. But that's exactly what happened. And this is no small shark either. This shark is 25 feet tall, but it gets better. The local council tried to have it removed, but the owner went to court on behalf of the shark and saved it. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Number two, Jimmy Carter Peanut. For anyone who knows American history, you'll know that Jimmy Carter was known as the Peanut President. But for the record, it wasn't because of his mental health, it was more of his background and upbringing. Jimmy Carter was a peanut farmer. But if you head to Plains, Georgia, you're going to find a very odd tribute to the president, a 13 foot tall peanut that smiles widely. Why? 
because Carter was known for his smile, and so the peanut is a treatment to both his charm and his heritage. But seriously, wouldn't a regular statue of the man holding a peanut be better? Number 1. Crazy Horse Memorial Okay, this memorial is strange in context because it's technically not done. Which is strange because it was started over 70 years ago. That's right, this monument was started back in 1948 and is a tribute to the legendary Native American warrior and leader Crazy Horse. But in all those decades, it's never been finished. To be fair, it's being carved out of a mountain and is set to be over 600 feet long and over 500 feet high. So yeah, that's a lot of work. But to not be finished by now? Someone needs to have a talk to this crew about their work ethic. Am I right? Tell us your thoughts on these strange monuments in the comments below and take care!